Mr. Nyazema, very good evening to you. What are the chances that companies will now be flocking to banks to liquidate their forex to meet their Zimbabwe dollar demands? As a banking sector, we have seen a general increase in customer and client inquiries for the availability of Zimbabwe dollar facilities. The first reason for that is there is more foreign currency that is available in the official market on the back of the willing buyer, willing seller, also auction system, where banks are bidding and for and buying foreign currency and then on selling that foreign currency to their customers. This is coming at a time where the exchange rate has increased from levels of around 1,000 at the beginning of the year to current levels of between 5,000 and 6,000. Therefore, one requires more Zim dollars to execute a foreign currency transaction compared to what was, was obtaining six months ago. The second and most important reason, in my view, is that corporates now have a wider set of options to use Zim dollars in making payments. The market would be aware that for the current tax payments, corporate tax payments, 50% of the payment is in Zimbabwe dollars and 50% can be in local currency. Therefore, if a corporate has got sales and revenues that are at 80% in foreign currency, they would either have to convert 30% or so into Zimbabwe dollars in order to effect the 50% of the payment that is required in local currency, or alternatively, they can obtain facilities from their bankers. So the current situation that we have is in sharp contrast to what we saw a year ago, where customers were converting their Zimbabwe dollar facilities into US dollars because the interest rates that were obtaining then had been increased from levels of be below 100% to 200%. So it made sense to convert Zim dollar facilities to US dollars. We are likely to have a situation where there will be demand for both foreign currency facilities and local currency facilities. And the main reason for that is we are in a dual currency 